It's about one o'clock right now, and I'm about to drink this 100 calorie muscle milk. The macronutrients are great on it. 1.5 grams of fat, four carbohydrates, and 20 grams of protein. And the reason I'm drinking one of these, because normally you guys know I do intermittent fasting, so I wouldn't eat till about four or five. But the thing I believe in intermittent fasting is, that, like, it's a lifestyle, it's not a diet, so um, you don't want to starve yourself. Like, if I'm hungry right now, I'm going to have a small meal. I just push back my big meals, like my 1,000 to 1,500 calories, later in the day to eat, if that makes sense. Anyway, about to go to the gym. Chest and triceps, well, upper chest. Let's go. So these are the supplements I brought to my aunt's house. That's a whole trip, weekend trip. I got my pre-workout, got my creatine, got my BCAs. Oh, this is obviously water. Introducing my brand new whip, my 2015 Lexus crossover. Um, about to hop in this, take you guys to the gym with me. Haha, uh, just kidding. It's not really my car, it's my aunt's car. I wish I could take it, but I'm stuck with Haha, uh, my Mustang, my 2003 Mustang. But honestly, this car is not even that bad. Actually, yeah, it is. Just get done killing at this gym. Since I'm looking right now. Alright, I'm about to uh, hop in this tanning bed real quick, like 10 minutes. Sunday, Easter. I hope everybody is having an amazing Easter weekend. And so this video, throughout the video, I'm going to be doing a Q&A. Just so it's not boring, I'm going to be sitting here answering all the questions. You're going to see questions answered throughout the video. Going to make it more fun. So let's start. First question from This Is, this is It Bing. That's on YouTube. Uh, would, you, would you recommend intermittent fasting for cutting and bulking as well and second question is what are the pros and cons of intermittent fasting and then third question is what do you think do you think three by threes is better than five by five to gain strength first and foremost thank you for your question and let's start so I would recommend intermittent fasting for cutting and bulking intermittent fasting for me I don't think of it as a diet I think of a lifestyle I love waking up, feeling fasted, getting stuff done. I love the feeling of being fasted. Even sometimes I work out on a fasted state and then I like to eat and that's when your body starts relaxing. We start eating a lot of carbohydrates and fats, stuff like that. So there's that. Um, what are the pros and cons of intermittent fasting? Intermittent fasting, as I said, you feel really alert and mentally focused in that fasted state. That you also... Since your your body doesn't have any carbohydrates or or proteins or fats in the first part of the day, your body uses your body fat as a as a fuel for energy. So it's uses it's easier to burn fat. Bam and yeah. And do you think three by threes is better than five by fives? I don't know, honestly. Um, I think actually I do know. I would recommend 3x3, three three, but not all the time. I recommend switching up. Sometimes 3x3, three three, sometimes 3x, I mean 5x5. Five five. The 3x3 three three is going to have more overload because it's more weight, but 5x5 five by, by five gets more reps and more volume. In. So there's that. I hope you guys enjoy that. And yeah, throughout the video, you're going to see more answers.
Bam. End questions. Uh, I'm on my way back from my aunt's house in Fort Wayne, Indiana, and I'm driving to Toledo right now to have uh, dinner with my stepmom, and then I'm gonna drive back to Tiffin, which is where my school is. But I decided to do another question while I'm driving because I'm super, super bored. All right. So this question comes from Anastasia on Instagram, and her question, her first question is, "What made you start a YouTube channel?" And quite frankly, what made me start a YouTube channel is that. Um, Obviously, it's a fitness channel, but hold up, I gotta turn it real quick. So yeah, it's a fitness channel, but what I love about a YouTube channel is that it's like a documentary of my life, right? So in like five years from now, I wanna look back and see what I look like, the things that I, like the feelings that I was have, uh, the numbers I'm moving in the weight room, kind of like what my physique looked like and obviously I'm gonna be bigger in five years so that's why I do a YouTube channel and if it grows from here it grows but that's not my main concern um, and her question uh, my car is trimming and her next question is what are you majoring in college I am major in exercise science and I'm not a hundred percent sure what I want to do um, I've been thinking about doing a strength and conditioning maybe a, uh, going to grad school and do, be a chiropractor I don't know yet Oh, by the way, I'm moving to West Palm Beach, Florida in soon, after my school ends. I'll let you guys know about that later. Anyway, yep, next question will be in my next vlog. Ha ha, bye. Alright, so back with another question, and I got your answer. I'm here in my car. I'm just getting out of eating dinner. Gotta get out of the thing. With my stepmom, she gave me some, um, I don't know if you can see that, some goodie goodies. I already ate a bunch of candy and stuff. Got uh, some gift baskets, but hey, it's my cheat day, haha. <laughs> but I've ate like too many candies. I've had like about 4,000 calories. Anyway, so here are some questions. First question is, how many days do you train a week? I train six days a week. And how much cardio do you do? I do about four or five times cardio a week. And I do cardio just because I enjoy doing cardio. Like I'll put on a YouTube video and I'll just walk for like 10, 15 minutes while I'm watching a video and it's perfect. So I also train abs about two, two a week. Anyway, my arm, my arm is getting tired of holding this. So I'm going to stop and I got a yellow light. Don't you just want to speed up at a yellow light, not slow down? Why did it make it so you slow down? Anyway, stay tuned for another question. I mean, another answer. Because this isn't my dorm room, so the lighting's bad. But before I get to my next question and I get the answer, I'm going to open up this package from Proton Fitness, who I'm interested in being a amb ambassador for. And here's what I got from them. I got a, a shaker bottle. It says Proton Fitness on it. And I got... Two tank tops, I think. Or, what? So I got this first tank top right here that just says um, ch -ch -ch -ch. Pro Top Fitness. It's uh, black and red. I'm going to put it on to see what I look like. So you guys can see what I look like. Uh. Bam. So there it is, and then I got this performance tee, just a white, just a white uh, performance tee. So yeah, man, I I really like this brand, hugging the sleeves, you know. And then I got some 100% uh, isolate whey protein, and. I don't know, should I do a giveaway? Because I don't really need these. But if you guys want to, if you get, there's about five in here. If you guys want me to get a giveaway, I'll do a giveaway for you guys because this channel is for you guys. Anyway, so the question is, where are you from? Okay, I was born in Ukraine. I got adopted when I was, I'm going to make the long story short, but I got adopted when I was 10 years old. And then I've been living in the U.S. since I was 10. Uh... I don't have biological parents, they're not in my life, that's beside the point, but yeah, now I'm in here, and 
The next question is, who is your biggest motivator in in the fitness industry? And I don't have, or not. I'd have to say, um, probably Greg Plitt because Greg Plitt, as you guys know, died last year. But Greg Plitt, man, he meant a lot to me. His motto was the, the train, right? And once you get a train, it's hard to get a train moving. But once you get it moving, it starts going, it starts going, it starts going. There's, it's impossible to stop it because it's so hard to stop. And that's how it is in transforming your, your body. That's how it is in transforming your life. It's hard to get it moving. It's hard to get motivated. But, but once you get it going and you start seeing results, 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 you don't want to stop. So that's kind of a little glimpse of it. So yeah, anyway, hope. Yep. <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm just here chilling in like a chocolate Easter egg coma because I've ate so much and decided to do another question. So here we go. Oh yeah, some of them I haven't been listening, but this one's from Ucell999. Thank you for sending in your question and how tall are you? I'm 5'758 five, five, and what do you do to prevent shoulder and elbow pain while benching or doing triceps? Um, honestly, just warming up, just doing a lot of sets with lighter weight, I guess. Um, I've had tendonitis in my elbows before, and it sucks. I haven't been, like, that's why I used to not do skull crushers for the longest time ever, because of the tendonitis in my, in my triceps. And luckily, went away, and now I'm able to do them. Also, back pain while squatting and deadlifting. Ooh, that's tough. That is definitely your lower back. Your lower back's one of the easiest thing to mess up and it affects your whole freaking working out as you guys know I'm recovering <clears throat> right now from my lower back injury and all I can say is definitely stretch it before and stretch it after and I said take ibuprofen anyway so yeah <laughs>